Hey, it's John Siskovich from farmmarketingsolutions.com, and we're here on day 27 of my 100 days to sell up my CSA. Now, on top of a very busy day today, where not only was I doing stuff for the farm, but for farm marketing solutions as well, I had to do an interview. Uh, I was working on this blog post. I cooked my family dinner, uh, spent you know 10 or 11 hours working on the farm. You know, it was a big, big day, and uh, had a lot of things to do besides marketing my farm, but got a really good, honest effort in to market the farm today. Not every day is going to be a slam dunk. That's something you have to remember with your farm marketing. So I have the website, farm marketing, or campsroadfarm.com. I have three, I have three websites. Got to keep them straight. Campsroadfarm.com. And we'll take a look at that real quick. So the Camps Road Farm website uh, really put together, but the thing that I'm lacking right now is you know, from the blog. I don't have any new blog posts. So blog post is something that I wanted to get going on the farm. It's definitely a really good marketing thing that I've used in the past, been very successful for me when people come to the farm and or come to the website and want to see what's new and current on the farm. So what I did was compile the photographs that I've taken in the past. I've talked about those in other videos. Uh, not only my photographs, but some historic photographs from the farm. I brought them into Adobe Photoshop Lightroom. It's a simple to use editing program for photographs specifically. It doesn't do any video or anything. And just touched them up a little bit, made them a little warmer, added you know this, that, and the other thing. Uh, I could do some videos on that if anybody has any requests. Uh, it's a hu hugely useful piece of software, not only for editing photos, but for organizing them on your computer as well. So I just checked, I, I paused the recording. If you go to the YouTube channel, youtube.com forward slash farm marketing, I have several videos in there on how to use Adobe Lightroom where I go into detail. Uh, so those videos happen to be already made. Uh, so I'm going to get out of here and go to the folder. So these are the pictures that I chose for the blog post. I have some historic photos of the farm and I have some very recent photos. Now we have a lot going on. It's going to eventually be a full diet farm where we have just about everything that you could drink or eat. <laughs> uh, but because I'm concentrating on my CSA marketing, I didn't want it to be a hard sell on just CSA. I wanted to give the history of the farm, but because the main enterprises that the farm is going to revolve around for now uh, is pastured poultry for meat and eggs, I wanted to highlight those two things and how they evolved on the farm. So that's sort of how I chose my photographs. So we go over to the internets and uh, the Camps Road Farm website is a WordPress website, uh, which I know I don't have any tutorials on yet. Uh, it's a WordPress website and I just wanted to show you real quick on how I start my drafts for the blog posts and what kind of what my format is. So in the dashboard for a WordPress site, this is any WordPress site, it'll have posts here on the left-hand column. You just click add new, and then you can add a new post. I put in a title at the top, and this is what shows up in the URL, Camps Road Farm, then and now, and it creates the, the link, campsroadfarm.com forward slash Camps Road Farm, then and now. And when I start to write the post, I do a little blurb in the beginning with an introduction, uh, then break it down into sections. So Camps Road Farm then. It was an organic dairy, so I had the cows out on the pasture. Uh, it was fallow for a couple of years, so you know wildflowers are taking over. The brush is starting to grow back in, in the pasture. Uh, we have a real peaceful pond across the street. You know Some nice, pretty photos from the farm highlighting how beautiful it is, and then getting into chickens specifically. And what I do is I take all those photographs from this folder, upload them to through Add Media, and then add them individually with a little caption. There's me with a baby chick. Uh, add them with a little caption explaining what the photograph is about to give it context. You know, I don't have a ton of time to sit and write a thousand words. You know, if a picture is worth a thousand words, I get a thousand words and then maybe 40 or 50 words uh, just to give the photograph context within the, you know, whatever the, the voice of it's late, uh, the voice of camps road farm, uh, or my farm, your farm, whatever, whatever you happen to be working on. 
So I give a little uh, overview of the farm, kind of tailored towards uh, pastured meat, uh, chickens, and egg chickens, uh, like I said earlier. I add, you know, farm as a category, and I, my categories are broken down for my blog posts in the future. So farm, apples, chicken, eggs, hop, sheep, uh, and vegetables. All things I'm going to intend on talking about. And when I'm good and ready, uh, I'm going to work on this one more day. I have some stuff down at the bottom. You'll see the Camps Road Farm plan. That's our plan going forward. Uh, I'll click, you know, save draft as I'm working. And when I'm done, I'll click publish. When I click publish, uh, it'll put the link here in that little snippet. And uh, we'll have a blog page where all those posts show up. So I started the draft today, got all the photos edited, uh, which is a big step. And now I just have to finish up the text. And because I get nerdy about it, do a little search engine optimization stuff um, that I can go into in future videos. But that was my farm marketing effort for today was to start kind of a more epic blog post to kick off the farm blog. It's something that people are going to you know, go back to a lot. And it's the first thing that people see. So I wanted to make it really good. I didn't have the time to complete it today, but I had the time to, you know, start the first steps in creating it. You know, farm marketing isn't just, you know, it's not the most difficult thing in the world. A lot of the strategies I'm putting forward are pretty simple, but the key is to actually do it, to take that effort every day. Even if you only have a couple minutes, today was just crazy. And the rest of the week, I have something going on every single night in addition to the farm work during the day. Uh, but I'm definitely going to keep keep up with the effort. I have some CSA shares to sell yet. Uh, I'll get the official. I have a couple pieces of mail I haven't checked yet, uh, but I'll get the official numbers out soon. Uh, starting to sell some new members, a lot of returning members, and uh, it's all it's all coming together. A lot of work going on here on the farm. Uh, for all of the updates, all the videos. If you want to go back and see something that you may have missed before, you can go to how to start a csa.com and that has all the let's uh let's go over to it real quick so i'm on farmmarketingsolutions.com in that top bar you can go to how to start a farm how to start a csa click on that and there you go that's you know a little blurb about the project some of the links to the blog post that i've created for it and then all the videos are laid out here for you so that's it for day 27 of my 100 days, uh, having a blast so far. It's nice to have this project in addition to farming because it does force me to create something for my marketing every single day because I know that I have to create a video on it uh, to keep this going. Uh, it's a really fun project. I'm enjoying it. I hope you are too. And until next time, I will see you out in the fields.